Ho, 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 welcome back to Video Game Figure Collector, and as always, I am your Pinoy Otaku in Japan, but not in Tokyo, Hagi Potato. And for this episode, I will be giving out news in regards to video game related figures you should watch out for that will be released this year so get your wallets <laughs> get your wallets ready because it's gonna be a doozy because a lot of the there is a lot of video game related figures that are gonna be released in the later half of this year so starting up uh on my list is we would be checking out Kotobukiya first so Let's start out with the Play Model series. So they have just recently released uh, Rockman, Rockman, uh, uh, Rockman X, and Zero, and uh, and the Rockman X with the armor on on their Play Model series, which you should already check out. And uh, as for our um, pre-orders that you might want to consider if you are a fan of Rockman X, you know the games from the, the Game Boy Advance, you should be able to get a Rock a Rockman that X play model. It's gonna be released uh September September this year. It's gonna be priced at seven thousand four hundred eighty yen included including tax. So that's around seventy dollars. So if you like building stuff up you should and you like rackman that xm do check that one out and they would also release the dark rackman version of this on on the following month that would be on october and it's going to be priced a little bit higher it's going to be priced at 8140 yen so do check uh check out the stores that you regularly pre-order this on i would suggest checking out uh, Ami Ami first if you have bought from them before. I am no way sponsored by Ami Ami. I'm just suggesting this because I mostly do my my online purchases in regards to pre-order from them because I get uh, I get them cheaper from that site. But I am living here in Japan, so uh, do check it. Check out uh, what is the what options are available to you wherever you live. Okay. Anyway, moving on to the scale series. So let's check out the Bishojo series first. Now, these figures I really, really like, but um, you will uh, uh, the prices are not really that okay with me. I was I actually pre-ordered the first one before, which is Morrigan. I've been looking for a Morrigan figure for such a long time. I've actually already pre-ordered this. Uh, which was set to be released um, uh, this month. I, I don't know uh, when you will be watching this, but it was set to be released on April. They moved it back to July, and it's going to cost you a whopping 14,300 yen. So that's more or less $135 um, based on the conversion at the moment. And this is, it has... Based on the pictures, uh, of course, we don't have, nobody has had one yet, but this is the best looking Morgan figure that I have seen. And I do recommend pre-ordering this if you could get, if you had the budget right now, because Morgan figures tend to go up in price so much. And I have been trying to find even just the Noodle Supper figure that they have released from the UFO catcher. And it is whenever I find one, it's usually priced six thousand five hundred yen and above, and that is just the noodle supper figure. Anyway, moving on, still in the Dark Stalker series or Vampire Savior, whichever name you prefer, is Felicia. Sorry, I dropped my list. Anyway, is Felicia, which would be set to be released on September, priced at fifteen thousand four hundred yen. And also on November is Lilith, and she's going to be priced at 15,400 yen. That's why I said get your wallets ready. Anyway, that's all for the Dark Stalker series. And next up for all of you King of Fighters fan, Fatal Fury fans out there, 
better uh, go and pre-order this one now. My Shirenu is going to get released. And she's going to be priced at 14,300 yen. I'm, I did not pre-order this. I already have the noodle supper figure, which is this one. And since I am a cheapo, I'm okay with this one. Anyway, moving along, you could... Uh, let's move into some JRPG figures. And they are releasing Rinwell. <laughs> oh my god. Anyway... She's going to get released on October. She's going to be priced at 16,500 yen. And if they release a Shione figure or an Appen figure, I'm just going to go bonkers anyway. Now, for um, now, Bamco fans out there, besides Tales of Arise, they are also going to release a Scarlet Nexus, uh, Scarlet Nexus figure. Of Casa Nerando. Now, I haven't played this game. If I butchered that name, please just correct me down below in the comments. I, I want. I, I've been waiting for a price drop, price drop of this game because, um, I'm really happy with what Bamco has, Bandai Namco has been doing right now. They have released the, uh, they have released Tales of Arise on the PlayStation Four and Scarlet Nexus with full English support. I can confirm the one for Tales of Arise. Because I haven't already played it. and But I haven't confirmed the one for Scarlet Nexus. But most of the people said that they have it has English support. So just take my word in regards for Tales of Arise. Because I've already played it. Um, that's why one of the reasons why I'm waiting for a price drop for Scarlet Nexus. Is that I haven't confirmed if it has English language support yet. Anyway, uh, moving along. Some high-end uh, for you Pokemon fans out there. Some high-end Pokemon figures are going to get released. So we have Arceus that's going to be released on November. And it's going to set you back 27,500 yen. Now that's one hefty price for a figure. That's the, uh, almost the same price as a, a PlayStation 4. Anyway, now um, there's also a Latios and Latias figure that's going to get released. That's going to be released on June. Going to set you back 16,500 yen. And uh, let's move on to the trainers. Now, uh, there's going to be Haruka with Achiyamo or rather if you are familiar with her. It's going to be May with Chikorita. And she's going to be released on, <laughs> ironically, she's going to be released this month, May, or rather next month, because it's the 29th right now, uh, April 29th, uh, while I'm recording this. She's going to be released next month, uh, priced at 10,780 yen. Now, in regards to this figures, this Bishojo figures and this Kotobuki Artifacts J figures, I tend to wait them out because I could I could uh, see them in book of or any other recycle store. So that's that for me. And also we would also be getting a Koki with Hikose. Or rather, I'm sorry, I forgot the name. But that's the pre-evolution of Impernape. And that's the main... Um, the main look at the main protagonist for Pokemon Diamond and Pearl are going to be priced at 12,980 yen. And I think we have covered everything for Kotobukiya. So uh, let's move on to Max Factory. Let's start off with Figma. Sadly, there is not anything announced yet for the later half of this year for Figma. But... The reason why I am I am uh, gonna uh, show you guys something in regards to Figma because they will be releasing the horse version two in light chestnut, dark bay, white, and chestnut colors. Uh, each of these uh, horses will gonna set you back five thousand three hundred yen each. Now 
you could use this figures for your link figma or i don't i'm not sure that's is does it scale with the witcher with the witcher figures i'm not sure but the reason why i am really uh including this in the list is because i'm gonna get one for my boy jean sakai here and if you have played ghost of tsushima the horse has a very emotional section on there. Anyway, I'm going to use it for this guy. I really love this game. This is actually the first game that I got a platinum on. Such such an awesome game. But I'll play it if you haven't. If you like open world games, if you like Japanese lore, or if you want the Japanese aesthetics, better just get this one. Okay, moving on, we're going to go to the Nendoroid section. Now, uh, the first one that's going to be released, that's uh, going to be related to video games, is the Geralt Ronin version. Going to be released on August. Going to be priced at 5,500 yen. I played The Witcher 3, and I'm not... Sh I don't know. Is this a side quest, a DLC or something? I haven't seen the Ronin version in game of uh, Geralt. So if anybody knows, or is it a comic or something? Anyway, uh, hit me up in the comment section down below. I'm not sure about that one. And moving on for the October release for Nandoroid, we're gonna be getting Esho Auditoria for. Esho Auditor, I think I butchered that one. Anyway, releasing for 6,900 yen, the uh, the first protagonist. Oh, sorry, sorry. Alter is the first protagonist, and this is Esho. So this is the second protagonist for the Assassin's Creed series. I think he's the most famous one out of all the Assassin's Creed. I'm not, a, I'm not big on Assassin's Creed games, but... It's the most famous one, and he has his own trilogy. Anyway, for the Nendoro that I am most excited about, this is the only one that I actually pre-ordered out of the Nendoro series, is Sagrius from uh, the Hades game. I got it for the, uh, the, I got the Nintendo Switch version. Couldn't be bothered with trophies. Anyway, a really fun game, and this is the only figure that we could i think i think correct me if i'm wrong again down in the comments below anyway excited for this one really enjoy the game and for all of you undertale fans out there that would be that would include my daughter she really likes undersale you will be getting sans uh and pap uh, and his brother papyrus on november gonna set you back at 5500 yen each so, something to look forward to for Undersale fans who haven't played the game. Uh, maybe I should. <laughs> anyway, now um, moving on to Pop-Up Parade. Now, uh, I have pre-ordered two of this. And this is from the Persona 5 series, which is Queen and Oracle, or rather Navi, if you play the Japanese version, going to be releasing on June Gonna set you back at 3,900 yen each. And also, um, the Joker and the Crow pop-up parade figures are gonna get re-released on November. Uh, yep, on November. This was already released last year. But due to the high demand and uh, many of these figures selling for very high prices on the second-hand market, Papa Parade has um, decided to re-release them. Also gonna set you back at 3,900 yen each. Gonna be re-released on July. And now, before we end this new set, uh, this new episode, I would just like to include this uh, figure that's gonna be re released on next year, 2023. And the first uh, is from the game Danganronpa version 3. So the first one is the Bunny Suit version of Kaide Akamatsu. And this is the, the most expensive figure on my list. It's going to be released January next year. It's going to 
gonna be priced at 30,800 yen. That's a whopping $300. And she's also gonna get a regular version released on October of next year, priced at 26,800 yen. And that's it. We have covered everything from uh, Kotobukiya and Max Factory in regards to video game related figures. And I may have missed something. Uh, maybe I I have browsed something uh, about a game that I'm not familiar with. Oh, that actually reminds me. There's just also... Uh, I know. That did not remind me of anything at all. Anyway, that's <laughs> it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed um, this new style new style of blog from me uh, i'll try to make a uh, one of this whenever i have seen enough uh, interesting video game related figures to include on the next episode don't hold me on that anyway that's it from me and this gig is out of here thank you so much for watching click down below for more content and this geek is out of here <laughs>